Hello beautiful souls, welcome to my YouTube channel and my first video. Today I'm setting up my bullet journal for October. I chose to center my theme around the new Netflix show Ratched, as you can probably tell by now. Ratched is the perfect mix of psychological thriller and over-the-top murder drama, and I absolutely loved it. I'm really excited for the spread, and I hope you enjoy. Mildred's iconic car, well, everything about her is iconic, is this really vibrant blue-green color that happened to match one of the pens I have. I tried out the Archer and Olive Blackout Bullet Journal for 2020 and bought a couple packs of metallic gel pens. While it has been fun trying out a completely new bullet journal and stationery, it's been a bit limiting as to what I can do for my spread, but I think you can work around it if you try hard enough. We have her car under the October header. I was trying to do it in the Ratchet title font, but I'm pretty sure that was custom made, so it was a bit of a guessing game. It was much easier to trace it for digital content as you can see throughout my video. Also, I made the mistake of using a thick sharpie instead of a silver pen because I got lazy, so it looks kind of sad, but the car came out pretty well. This orange license plate makes me really happy for some reason and I'm not quite sure why. Orange is such a strange color and I don't really know how I feel about it, but this plate really is sparking joy. I used to wear a lot, like a lot, of neon in middle school, so maybe it's nostalgic for me. Ugh, middle school, what a time. I had a decent middle school experience, but thinking back on it makes me shiver like I literally just got goosebumps. Oh, and these car lights are so cute. I love looking for faces in the fronts of cars, and I think this one would be named Reggie but you should comment down what you would name this car. I love naming inanimate objects and, oh, I need to name my little ceramic friends that live on my desk. And here I'm just drawing the arch of the gas station where Mildred tells the gas station attendant that he should bathe more. Don't know how I would bounce back from that. The iconic yellow suit. I really don't think I can come up with another adjective, but this is the outfit she wears for her first time at the hospital. I would also like a yellow power suit, but I probably would not get as much use out of it as Mildred would. Here I am drawing Mildred's extremely stiff red hair. I hope Sarah Paulson's hair survived these 40s updos that just requires so much hairspray. She also could have been wearing a wig. Once again, it just looks so stiff, so I don't know. Could have been a wig. Also, I'm not going to reveal too much about the plot because spoilers actually suck a lot and I don't want to take away the joy of experiencing Ratchet for the first time. Wow, I really deserve compensation from Netflix for this plug of a video. I chose the quote written above her because it really captures Mildred's dedication to her plans, which are so elaborate and usually well executed. It really would be so exhausting to be her, like watching Ratchet gives me so much secondhand stress but I opted in for that, I guess. Very much in a love-hate relationship with thrillers, crime, murder, mystery, etc. Shout out to Criminal Minds, Crime Junkie, and now Ratched for giving me stress dreams. The calendar page definitely took the shortest as the illustrations were much simpler. The inspiration is from a puppet show from a pretty memorable scene. Again, no spoilers, so you will just have to go watch it yourself. I drew the curtains from the stage as a backdrop for the calendar. I usually have somewhat steady hands for drawing, except when it comes to drawing lines in my bullet journal. I even have dots to guide me, so I don't know why I constantly mess up. These aren't so bad, but my lines get much worse in a couple pages. Fun fact, actually really really sad fact, I started with a blank bullet journal, so I was freehanding everything. I even started an Instagram called Blank Page Bujo, but I don't think it exists anymore, pretty sure I deleted it. I was very proud of myself for the dedication, but two years of that was enough for me. To be honest, I have no idea what I'm supposed to say during this video, but I'm trying my best to channel Amanda Rachel Lee energy. I also typed this out to make things easier, but maybe one day I'll be able to record this voiceover raw podcast style. It's kind of fun typing this out, feels like I'm writing a journal entry. 
I honestly could talk forever, so recording this is a blast. Also, I remember my seminar professor complimented my reading voice once, and I was so flattered that I started thinking about joining student radio. I actually went to an initial meeting, but corona hit pretty soon after, so that kind of fell through. Plus, having a YouTube channel is low-key like having a podcast, especially since I don't plan on showing my face for the time being. To add a bit more detail, I drew string as if the calendar boxes were stitched together. There was a lot of string in the title sequence, but I don't really know why, even now. If you are a film major, please help me out. Also, I'm an idiot and I looked at my Google Calendar instead of an actual calendar to plan these pages, so I gave myself an extra week of October. Time has kind of lost meaning in quarantine, and months don't really seem like months anymore, but I guess since fall is my favorite season, an extra week of October would be cool. And here's me trying to hide my mistake. Oops. Ah, my favorite page. I like to track my mood and write down songs that I've been jamming to that month. These pages end up being my favorites because they're usually more creative. I know a lot of people do a habits page, but I have a separate health journal for tracking mine. A video will be coming out soon about that, hopefully. Here I drew a wine glass with some ambiguous liquid in it since, you know, ratchet is set in post-prohibition America, and I drew a boiled egg that somebody orders at a diner before something happens. Ooh, suspense building. <laughs> and the iconic peach, yes. The scene was a bit of comedic relief for the audience, and that's also how Mildred's quote from my cover page came to be. And ah, oh, yes, the oyster platter. I really want some seafood, but since outdoor dining isn't really safe and to-go raw seafood isn't really an option, I will just have to daydream or watch Ratchet again and again. I'm going to be coloring in the lemon slices, sauce jars, and oysters in to track my mood, and I'll be writing my October soundtrack in the blank spaces. Sorry not sorry, I'm just gushing over these pages, like not to toot my own horn, but it looks so nice to me. Dopamine and serotonin levels are high. I'm so excited to use this. Thinking through and organizing your theme before you start really increases the chances that you'll love the setup and use it more. Sorry to get so business there, but you know when your theme or the way you executed it just isn't very satisfying and you kind of feel disappointed because you're stuck with it for an entire month? Yeah, that is the worst feeling in bullet journaling, so definitely having a game plan is the way to go. And we have Mildred's bologna sandwich. When she said that straight up bologna was her favorite meal, I did a double take. I remember eating a lot of bologna sandwiches in elementary school and having one for lunch meant I was going to have a good day, but I don't know why my mom just stopped packing me bologna sandwiches for lunch one day. Here I'm cutting less than half a page to create a window for my first weekly spread. I love a good window and definitely use one each month now. I started drawing the spaces for my days to mimic the notes that Mildred passes back and forth with another character at her motel. My line drawing ability really decided to disappear, or I guess my lack of line drawing ability really persisted. Either way, very upsetting. I tried to mimic the font at the top of the stationery, but my white pen was too thick and it just looked like my regular handwriting, so I gave up on that. And my final touch was drawing Mildred in her, again, iconic blue uniform and her iconic stiff red hair. I don't know how many of you are actually watching this to recreate the layout, but sorry it's so heavy on the illustration. I feel like with anything, I'm not really good at improvising, so I usually do larger drawings with reference pictures rather than doodles. But let me know if I should challenge myself to do more doodles like Amanda does. I also write just a summary of my day in my bujo rather than actual tasks. I know defeats the entire purpose of a bullet journal, but I need to write out my day task by task to not get overwhelmed. And that one should just be a waste of space to do in my bujo. 
but you can change the box sizes to whatever works for you. And here's the final flip through. I'm really happy with how this turned out and I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I promise to be more timely with my next video setup and if you're still here, thank you! Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Sending lots of love and as always, stay groovy.